wanna be the survive Better than Rachel I wanna be so beloved I wanna be so faithful I'm preparing for you I want to be so graceful Like a true Proverbs 31 Shalom to my people. I don't know why I'm in the Mardi Gras spirit, but I am. Yes, it's very vegan, but I've been stopped doing the parades long time ago. Um, pretty much when I left Christianity alone. However, I still would do the Zulu and the Nasa parade. Um, but now that I follow the Most High Commandments, I will not do the Zulu parade anymore. I will still do the Nasa. Anywho. What I will do is the Mardi Gras Indians. I call it the New Orleans Indians because they only call it the Mardi Gras Indians because when Mardi Gras first came out, the slave was not allowed to go. So we did our own thing. Came up with, um, I don't know which came first, but I would guess the Mardi Gras Indians came first. However, a little thing that um, people back home do is still you know recognize that back in slavery time a lot of new orleanian slaves got free from either escape buying or being born free new orleans was more of a port so having slaves there was a little less likely which is why the racism in new orleans is extremely weird but that's a story for a whole nother day so since slaves or black people wasn't allowed to go to the little measly parade, it was cool. We made our own thing. So the Zulu parade is the first black parade. Um, I typically will not do the Zulu. It is also pagan. But I will do the New Orleans Indians. The concept of that came from, like I say, a lot of us end up getting free. We interbred with what looked just like us when we came here and seen who's this even though we didn't speak the same language the uh, customs were very similar so mangling came naturally and they showed us the land interbred with them we moved around so still to today what we do to pay homage to that side of us is messed up as Indians um, and that's the New Orleans Indians like I say it's called Mardi Gras Indians because um, they took the opportunity on Mardi Gras since the whole city was shut down to come out on that day but we also come out on other days St. Joseph night um, Super Sunday and yeah I still fuck with that anyways right now I am just loving on my picture sometimes I do this mid picture because i'm happy with how it's coming out and yeah my baby just like plants and flowers y'all i really love nature i guess for people who's into this i'm an earth sign um but it's for me it's all about healing that's why i love food i love textures i love colors i love bursts of flavor things that stimulate my senses like heavy on stimulating the senses but yeah flowers and plants are healthy for you in many different ways i love my plants i'm so happy they are flourishing in my place I actually bought some earthworms from <laughs> Amazon. I'm so serious. And tried to give them a little bit more of an outside feel. My heart broke when I had to move and I ended up losing my outside space. But I'm working with what I have. Um, can't wait till the spring come back around and I'll see what I'll do with the ones in my living room. I ran out of time today, so I was not able to show my living room um, bordering. I actually did not do that until a few days later because 
I had to get going and then like the next two days of work was crazy I just came home and crashed but yeah I don't know who did this to my car but I did not do this okay that's freaking weird as shit so I had press ons on my nails for the video shoot and I don't like to pluck them off because then it gets all break and brittle so I just let them come off naturally day by day but under i'll file it down clip it and file it down so it can match my natural nail and then just let it come off this is a damn shame my flowers is there already mm. <laughs> it's just been like a week anyways i'm not liking much this week but i am making some vegetable soup because i just ate Roast beef for them their whole week. So it's vegan time. But I might use the um, roast beef broth a little bit like it's not even real broth. It's like <laughs> leftover at the bottom. Um I added water to it and that's what's left over. So if I run out of water, which it looks like I am, I'm gonna add that. But other than that, it's all vegetables. I put beets in it so far, um, onions, purple, regular garlic, and leeks, and uh, pepper, thyme, bay leaves, salt, and black pepper and white pepper. Ah! What the hell? I never knew this, this was real glass. Like literally, bruh, bruh, I don't have time, it's already too late and I ain't even still doing all it, like I gotta get the food done so I can move on, bruh, something always happens when I'm cooking. So, oh, yeah. Head off the ground. 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 Head off the This for try not to drop your head down here. So you can either look at the ground or keep your head in a fixed position. Mm -hmm. or you can right and keep your hips on down. Okay. It's like yep. this. <laughs> Wait, my back.
and I felt it back here. The the last one. <laughs> yeah, so, um, <sighs> depending on flexibility and whatnot, you might have to exaggerate this. So you're not. So you might have to keep a little round in here going back. Okay. Um, spine, um, you can play. Mm -hmm. Earth, okay. Really good job on that. Stay focused. Good. Great job. Great job. Good. My balance for this one. Mm -hmm. There's always my balance for these lunges. Definitely help you. Let me know if you want to order me. You're good though. <clears throat> Ah, 
Good. Try not to let them get in the way of your legs. Okay. Oh my goodness. Whew, that feels good. Oh yes, that feels great. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <sighs> Well, I did not work out probably.
I worked out last week, but it was like an extremely quick have done. So that was something else. I'm going to the store to get me some bread to go with my soup. I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Go home, do some art. And today is prep day. So it's a short one. Shalom, divine people. So it is the Shabbat day, and I wanted to take the time out for myself to double back and make sure I was not misinterpreting what curse and profanity mean. From my understanding, cursing, according to scripture, is literally like hexing or wishing ill on someone so i just wanted to double back because i do use the, those words that in today's society would be considered as cursing and again like i say from my understanding that it's not what scripture is referring to when it says not to curse someone a person can literally tell someone i wish you fall down the stair and use no word that we consider a curse word but that is actually cursing them so i clicked on a few words for profanity 2611 means profane irreligious godless hypocrite 2490 means to bore to pierce through to hollow to pipe perforate a slain 2490c is to pollute defile profane or violent 2455 Profaneness, commonness, we're supposed to be set apart, not like the common people. Ordinary, 2610, to be po polluted, profane. In Numbers 3533, the example, the way the word was used is profaning the land, polluting the land, turning to godlessness. 2613, profaneness, pollution. 2491, pierce, sexually dishonored, profane. To slain a man, to deadly wound someone, kill someone. 2612, profaneness, ungodliness, hypocrisy. 3971, blemish, defected, spot. So, looking up what curse means. And again, I am not looking to be wise to do evil, but um, I honestly wanted to correct myself and make sure I wasn't tripping on this meaning of what cursing means. 779, to curse, bring a curse. We know the Most High put curses upon us and those curses were pretty much, when you think of it, a, a hex, um, the punishment for not following his laws. 7045, a curse, a curse. imprecation when i looked up what imprecation means it had different definitions to it but of course what stood out was hex because again that's what this is referring to 68.95 to utter a curse again curse blasphemes 39.94 a curse coming from the word seven seven nine which was the first one i say the curse to bring a curse upon 70 to slight swift or trifling which was an interesting one for me so I had to double back because trifling to me is always just meant like someone being dirty. So I had to make sure the definition was clear. And to be slighted is a small to belittle someone basically. Small in degree. Inconsiderable. An insult. 
not sturdy or strong. Four, two, three, and oak. Which I guess that would be like a hex, a curse. Same one for 76, 21, and oath, a curse. Swear, sworn, perjury. 83, 81, also a curse. So looking more into it, um, the content of the word. If you notice, a lot of times in scripture, cursing definitely referred to our punishments. Another reason why it's important to understand what these words really meant, say for instance, the scripture about honoring your mother and your father and not cursing them. The usage of curse here was swift and slight and trifling. So understanding trifling, that's unimportant, trivial. So you're supposed to honor your mother and father, honoring someone. You're giving them their props. You are recognizing them. Um, even if it's, you know, some people may have had the worst parents ever. They are still your parents. Um, they still birth you. And even if you don't have a relationship with them, you don't curse them. Um, the most high is going to deal with them. Long as you honor in the way that, you know, is fit as in recognizing, acknowledging you are within law. Last but not least, call it and <laughs> count it as a shameless dog, which is a, you know what, is she a female? <laughs> Is what it is.